Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. And as always, you can uh, get me right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Feel free to reach out to me, send me an email, whatever you love to do. Today, uh, it's going to be really cool. I have a special guest presenter. His name is uh, Chris uh, Semiola. He's a developer and also the founder of... Um, coursemaker.org. He'll tell us all about that um, later. He's going to show us how to use uh, the Botanic Framework React to Contentful to create a chatbot that is powered by Contentful, meaning that the conversation and the decision trees are created within Contentful. So it's going to be, it's going to be really cool. But as always, you guys know the drill here. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen here. There we go. And uh, feel free to go to headlesscreator.com and you can um, sign up right there, register, you, you get access to all the courses. Of course, the, this on-demand lesson will be available in the Focus on Contentful course. When you go there, you'll see it under For Developers. You'll see the course right there with a link to the GitHub and everything else that Chris is going to mention. So don't forget to go to Headless Creator, click on Sign Up if you haven't signed up. And if you have, just click on sign in. And if you're not enrolled to the Focused on Contentful course, enroll with it. And like I said, it says right here, free. I'm not lying. It's for free, for real. Um, and then you'll have access to all of the course material, not just this lesson. So um, there you go. Um, as always, uh, just remember to visit headlesscreator.com. All right, so we got all that out of the way. Um, as you know, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to restart the um, we're gonna restart the intro here because for the on-demand version we're gonna have a nice clean intro well you aren't you're not gonna see any of this stuff that I just spoke about so we want to make sure that the on-demand is nice and clean so having said that let's restart the intro I'm gonna repeat what I just said before just the intro part and then we'll get going so let's do this Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, reach out, reach out to me. I can't even, I can always mess this up, but there it is. Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, I'd love to hear from you and answer. I'll answer as promptly as I can. Today, my guest presenter is Chris Samiola. He's a developer and the founder of coursemaker.org. He's going to show us how to uh, create a chatbot that is powered by Contentful using the Botanic Framework and also React. Uh, what's going to be really cool is that the conversation and the decision tree for this chatbot will be all in Contentful, which means that the author will be empowered to control that where the developer doesn't have to be involved once this is uh, live. So uh, it'll be really cool. We're going to jump in real quick into that. But before I do that, what I'd love to do is I'm going to bring in, um, let's see, we'll bring in Chris. And there we go. Chris is right there. So welcome, Chris. Hi, Marcelo. Great to be here. Glad to have you here. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for doing this. You're in uh, UK, right? If I'm That's not right. mistaken. I'm, I'm in London, yes. In London. Love it. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Sure, yeah. Uh, I'm a developer. Uh, I've been involved in, in tech for about a, a decade or so. Um, previously was working in health tech and fintech. Um, and recently I've uh, founded CourseMaker, which is an online course builder for technical folk like developers and data scientists. That's a bit about me. So you, but you created Course Maker really for personal reasons, right? Because you're, didn't you have courses before that you were doing? And is that's yeah. right? That's right. So I, you I, have I think, a what is it? A JavaScript course? I think you told me with like ten thousand users or something like that. Yeah, I have a couple of courses on uh, machine learning deployments uh, and testing and monitoring ML models, um, and. I've, I've been teaching those for a couple of years now, and yeah, it's about fifteen thousand students these days. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, congratulations. So then Thanks. you created this uh, site, Course Maker, which is um, kind of like an LMS, but focus on developers, I guess? You got it, yeah. So you've got things like 
uh, interactive coding exercises so students can actually code in the browser, sort of like build your own uh, code academy or, or hacker rank, plus all the other things that you need to run a course, you know, your payments, um, your compliance, all that sort of thing. That's awesome. Well, um, everybody should go check it out. It's what, coursemaker.org, right? Coursemaker.org, Coursemaker Coursemaker you got it. Yeah, make sure everybody go check it out. Um, fantastic. I'm going to ask you um, one personal question because it's always nice to know some personal stuff about uh, my guests. What is your favorite uh, TV show? So at the moment, I I'm a bit of a sci-fi fan. I I'm really enjoying The Expanse. Oh, my God. I'm watching that, too. I love that show. It's great, huh? I mean, it's, uh, what season are you? I just finished season one. What, I've, which I've, season? I have seen it all. Um, oh, I, man. I no spoilers. Five, yeah, no spoilers. I think there's five seasons now. But yeah, yeah. For, for people who enjoy a bit of uh, sort of realistic sci-fi, it's great fun. Yeah, and the production value is, I mean, it's almost like a movie, right? I mean, it's like yeah. every, every episode is almost like watching a movie. Definitely. So, okay, I'm with you. I love it. Perfect. All right, cool. Well, there you go. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm showing your screen. And um, if anybody has any questions, like always, feel free to uh, ask questions on the chat. Uh, I'll have Chris answer them. Chris, if I have any questions, I'll jump in. But otherwise, I'm going to remain here uh, silent, and I'll let you take over. OK, cool. So to begin with, then, um, what we're doing here is we're going to use this framework called Botonic. Um, and Botonic is a, a framework built on top of React for building chatbots. And it's actually quite a powerful framework. Um, we're only going to really scratch the surface of all the different things it can do. Um, you can use it to build chatbots in things like uh, WhatsApp and Telegram and, and WeChat and those sorts of places. But we're really just going to be using it for the web here. Um, but it's good to know that it has those additional capabilities. Uh, it can also do all kinds of impressive natural language understanding, uh, different functionality. So where users type in free text um, and then it interprets that and provides realistic responses. And, and that's why it's not only built on top of React, but also TensorFlow JS. So that's the, the ML and the, the natural language processing part. But again, in, in, this, uh, in this section, we're going to look at something a little simpler, really, and um, focus on how we can create a deterministic chatbot. And what I mean by deterministic is that we're going to explicitly lay out what the the different paths a user can take are, and we're going to define those paths in Contentful. Um, so that's that's just a, a bit of an intro to the framework, and it's useful to know that there are these additional capabilities as well, because what I show you over the next sort of thirty minutes or so um, can be expanded to include these additional capabilities. The framework is quite flexible, and we'll look at some of the ways that we can be doing that as we go through. Right, so before we look at some, some code and, and show you some examples, I want to show you a couple things first. So I'm going to show you a little bird's eye view of the architecture, and then I'll show you uh, an initial version and it working, so you can get a feel for where we're heading. And then we'll switch out to look at, okay, how do we bring in Contentful and take it from there. So let me switch over here to this diagram. Um, this is like a, a how you would basically do things in production. Um, so it's a little more complex than what we'll need to worry about over the next 30 minutes. Uh, you could almost imagine that um, sort of like the bottom box here and the top box are what we're, we're basically going to be working with. So you have your React app.